Hi, I'm Calvin from Connect. In this video, I'm going to take you through installing your Connect stem, tuning the suspension, and what's included in the box. This is Kelsey. She'll be helping us out today. Now let's take a look at what's included with your Connect stem. In the box, you'll find the stem, extra springs, and the product guide. Let's install your Connect stem. We'll start by removing the old stem. We're going to keep the bike on the ground so that the front wheel stays supported. First, remove the faceplate, the top cap, and the stem from the steerer tube. Make sure that the stem fits onto the steerer tube with a small gap, but no more than three millimeters. Now lightly thread the top cap on. We'll fine tune the tightness of the top cap later. Time to install the bars. Keep in mind that for bars smaller than 31.8 millimeters in diameter, you'll need an appropriate handlebar shim. As you tighten the faceplate screws, center the bars and adjust to a comfortable angle. It is important here to maintain equal gaps on the top and bottom screws. Make sure to tighten in an X pattern until very snug. Now that we have the bars installed, we can tighten the top cap to adjust the headset tension. Carefully tighten the top cap bolt until there is no bearing looseness and the headset spins smoothly. You can check for play by holding the front brake and rocking the bike back and forth with your other hand on the upper and lower headset bearings. If there is any forward or reverse motion in the headset, continue tightening carefully to remove any play in the headset. With the headset tension adjusted, visually align the handlebars perpendicular to the front wheel. Now tighten the stem bolts evenly to four to six newton meters. Now that the stem is installed, we'll explain how to tune the suspension. There are three available spring options for the stem. The default black spring, the blue striped spring, which is softer, and the green striped spring, which is firmer. The optimal spring stiffness is going to depend on your riding style, the terrain, and your own preference. We recommend trying the default spring first and then tuning from there. If you aren't using all the travel, consider using a softer spring. If you're using too much travel and frequently bottoming out the suspension, consider using a firmer spring. Another option to firm up the suspension feel is the Performance Damper Kit, which is available separately. To install a different spring, use a 2.5mm hex key to loosen the set screw which is holding the pivot pin. Slide the pivot pin out and fully remove. Now pivot the upper link forward to access the spring assembly. Remove the upper spring guide and the spring as well. Install your desired spring, followed by the upper spring guide. Note the orientation of the upper spring guide. It needs to fit into the slot in the upper link. Now lift the bars and lower the upper link into place. Line up the holes and carefully orient the pivot pin indent before sliding in. It's very important to line up the indent to the set screw hole to properly secure the pivot. For a visual confirmation, completely remove the set screw to do a visual check on the alignment. Finally, tighten the set screw to 2.5 newton meters, and now you're ready to ride. To recap, we went over installing the Connect stem, selecting the right springs, and installing the springs. Please visit our website or contact us if you have any questions about setup or installation of your Connect stem. Thanks for watching.